Herping Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes, their relatives and the world's growing passion for these magnificent creatures. Today we will be discussing the Puff Adder versus the Black Mamba. So last Black Mamba versus episode I said it might be the finale. It wasn't. I don't even think this one will be but we'll have to see. Uh, but both of them are South African snakes. Some people have said that the puff adder is the deadliest snake on the planet, which is a bit of an overstep if you ask me. But um, puff adders are generally quite deadly if it comes to a situation where you get bitten. However, I don't think it will uh, take, it wouldn't take first place if you ask me. The black mamba. Now I have discussed this many times, I do it in every video, uh, but first off we'll start with its venom. Now it has an extremely potent venom, but not the highest of yields. Um, the venom is a neurotoxin, meaning it shuts down your nervous system, um, and it's very quick, it's fast acting generally, neurotoxins. Um, but the yield isn't high because it doesn't have to be. You don't need an extremely high yield if your venom is super toxic, so yeah. But they uh, have no venom resistance besides their own, so if they bite themselves, they will not die. Uh, but if something like a king cobra were to, were to bite it, they would typically die. Uh, then they grow up to about four meters long, four and a half meters long. Um, they can kill a human in about two to eight hours, depending on the person, but there have been instances where it's been less than half an hour, but those are typically in children rather than grown adults. But uh, they are very aggressive as well, and they are found very nearby people, often due to food, due to good habitation, and etc, etc. Then comes the puff, puff Adder, one of my personal favorite snakes on the planet. Very short, stout snakes and quite heavy bodied, um, but absolutely beautiful. And they come in a variety of different colors. Um, first off, they are found everywhere in, Af in South Africa, literally everywhere, and quite ubiquitous in the rest of Africa as well. Um, but they, gener they tend to have a cytotoxic venom uh, with a very high yield. Puff adders are vipers, and vipers typically have very high yields. Um, but then uh, they what? Uh, they have no venom resistance except their own either. And they grow up to about one and a half meters long. So again, not too long, especially compared to the mamba, which is the second longest venomous snake. Um, they are found very nearby urban areas. Again, found everywhere in South Africa. So it's not just nearby urban areas, it's also far away. like. They're found in the desert, not often, but they are, um, which is nowhere near, but they're also found in cities, which is very nearby human habitation. They uh, tend to be not too aggressive. Even there have been study, studies that have shown that even stepping on one that is fully in camouflage mode and is currently just trying to maintain that camouflage will not bite you, even standing on it, which is crazy. Um, but typically bites come from juveniles uh, just still trying to find their way, or adults who are trying to find a new uh, place to have, to ambush, do their ambush. Um, but they are generally quite interesting snakes. But in terms of killing, uh, in terms of how long it takes to kill a human, it takes quite long because cytotoxin isn't a very fast-acting venom 
And typically people just die of infection, so it takes about a week or two. So in terms of a puff adabite, if one gets to the hospital within a day, one, one might lose an arm. It's a great possibility that you will lose an arm, but uh, an arm or a leg or whatever limit bit you want. Um, but if you get to the hospital quickly, that can even be avoided. I think when it comes down to it, the Black Mamba takes the win on this one as well. Currently still undefeated. Comment down below which snake you think could beat the Mamba. Um, and we'll see if it makes it. Uh, but this generally gets down to the time it takes to kill a human and uh, the aggression. Puff adders are not very aggressive and the time it takes is just astro astronomically higher. So, yeah, well done, Mama. <laughs> Hit that like button if you enjoyed and consider subscribing for more snake and animal content every Monday and every Friday. And I will see you next time.